All right, all right, all right. We've got another request that we're filling today, and today we're covering Alt Linux. It is a Linux distribution from Mother Russia. That's right. It is a beautiful looking operating system too. I just had a chance to uh, go through and look at all the really nice things that are on this. And uh, I, I, wow. My sister-in-law Nadezhda is absolutely going to love this. This version that I downloaded has the XFCE user interface. I could not find an ISO with the KDE on it, uh, but that's okay. I like how this looks. I'm going to review it right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, let's begin. Now, I had a request for this, and I was told this was a KDE distribution, but much to my surprise, when I pressed Alt-F2 to uh, get the English menu, this gave me the XFCE user interface. Now, I took a little bit of time to uh, look at this before firing up my recording studio, and I have got to tell you, I have never seen a Linux distribution in my life that, er, that has the most beautiful, breathtaking wallpapers. It is absolutely amazing some of the wallpapers that you get with this. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these things. For, before I go into uh, uh, revealing the software and everything this has, this is using the XFCE user interface. I really like how they laid this out. And uh, let me just go over the bottom here. Uh, there's a logout dialog. You uh, have access to your filing cabinet here. The time, believe it or not, this is the English version, but some of the things are appearing in Russian here. A volume control. This shows that I'm plugged in. My battery's fully charged. Okay, we have a wired network connection system. And look, we have the Compiz Fusion icon. I did not install this to the hard drive, so we're not going to be able to see any Compiz effects, but it's interesting to note that this uh, has Compiz uh, installed on this thing, which is really cool. Now, this is version 6 of Alt Linux that I'm uh, running right here, and I know very well that Compiz works beautiful, beautifully with the XFCE user interface, so if you don't like GNOME 3, this could actually be a route that you could take. Okay, now let's go ahead and have a look at some of these breathtaking wallpapers that you can choose from. All right, and uh, first, this is the default wallpaper that it ships with. And I thought this was really nice. Now, my sister-in-law's from Russia, and, uh, you know, they have so many beautiful things in that country and that sort of thing. She's brought back all kinds of photos of different places, and they have such beautiful artwork in that country. And so it did, it, it did not surprise me when I saw these wallpapers. This is another really nice one as well. And if anything, I'm going to have to email myself some of these wallpapers because this is stuff that I would actually use on my desktop. I love the butterflies and everything. This is really nice. Um, let's see what else we got here. And then, of course, we have standard screen and widescreen versions. Uh, we have an aquarium image. You know, when you see artwork like this, you know, this is just reminiscent of stuff that, you know, people done by, you know, that people do by hand and that sort of thing. And uh, I think it's just breathtaking, you know, the artwork that they've actually included with this. Uh, I like the penguin uh, one here. That one's really neat, too. And let's look at some other ones. And there's a bunch of them in here. I mean, I haven't even gone through uh, many of these at all. Let me see what the black one is. <laughs> I love the cat. I'm more of a cat lover myself than uh, 
than dogs. Look at that one. That one's kind of neat too. I know I couldn't do uh, wallpapers and artwork that's this good, you know. This one was really nice as well. The flower scenery. You know, and I can't even remember where I uh, where I even uh, download this downloaded this from because I got it a few days ago and I forgot to jot down the link. But I mean, the wallpapers are breathtaking. And I mean, there's just so many of them in here. Um, so definitely something to suit every taste. I can't obviously show all of them that they have here, but. Um, a lot of really great choices, you know. So, uh, at some point here, I'm going to have to uh, email myself all of these images because, I mean, they are just that nice. And then, of course, you have other things that you can do uh, with the images. You can adjust the brightness and saturation. You can ha change the colors of your desktop. You can, um, you can even uh, configure your menu options here as well as choose... Uh, your icon configuration as well on your desktop. So very, very nice here. You get four desktops to choose from. Okay, and then you get a web browser. Let's see what this includes. It looks like we have some Russian text in here as well. Give this a moment to load up. Okay comes with Firefox. Okay, and it, apparently it wants to set Yandex as a home page. Uh, I don't even know what Yandex is. I, I'm assuming it could be a uh, Russian uh, website. Let's have a look here and see what it is. Okay, it looks like it comes pre-configured uh, with the toolbar on the top here. However, we do have the web page in English, and that was a concern for me. Okay, and it looks like, uh, I wonder which version this ships with. Okay, this is shipping with version 5, so if you get this distribution, you'll probably definitely want to update everything on it. I do, uh, it is my understanding this did release earlier this year though, so, um, and then of course a show desktop icon. Okay, um, very nice from what I see so far. We're going to take a short break and when I come back we'll look at the applications that come installed with this. Good day, comrade. I'm Ivan Kilimov, the Ivan Kilimov Stop Smoking Club. Perhaps you wish to quit smoking. We know it is difficult, but we have come up with a revolutionary incident to help you to quit smoking. The security is simplicity. We have streamlined our process to only one very easy step. You see, we have added to new technology. We call it Russian Roulette Cigarette. You will be pleased with the results when you purchase our product. You see, we randomly put explosive cigarette in each pack. Then if you like the Russian Roulette Cigarette, you smoke no more. Cigarette will kill you slowly anyway. So this is a good deterrent, huh? What's more, this makes good gift for someone you think needs to quit smoking. So buy Russian Roulette Cigarette today. Your life may depend upon it. Before starting any stop smoking program, participants should first consult their doctor, lawyer, librarian, probation officer, mortician, and taxidermist. Side effects include breathing difficulty, laceration of the skin, nausea, third degree burns, asthma, and dizziness. Extreme cases include decapitation, asphyxiation, and death. Results are dependent on the patient's desire to stop smoking. There is absolutely no clinical proof that this program actually works. By purchasing this product, the consumer agrees to accept all terms and conditions mandated by the manufacturer and will not hold the seller liable in the event of death or injury. <laughs> Did you get all that? If not, rewind and play again. <laughs> you can tell my brother and I have a warped sense of humor. At any rate, uh, we're looking at Alt Linux 6. And I'm sure my sister-in-law is absolutely going to love this. She loves everything Russian. All right, now... Uh, Let's have a look and see what you get. Here's our uh, SL button. That means simply Linux. All right, and of course, 
with any XFCE interface, you get uh, you get some quick launches uh, in your start menu, a run program, an application finder, terminal, terminator emulator, file manager, a mail reader, and you get the Firefox web browser. Be sure to update it though, it's only version 5. Okay, and then from here you can go into your settings. You get the settings manager, system management center, Bluetooth manager, the Compiz config settings manager. Great if you love the eye candy. You can log in photo, log in window, privilege granting, RPM install, screensaver, and settings editor. Yes, this uses the RPM packaging system. I found it to be a little bit more difficult than um, using the Debian uh, package system. But the thing is, you know, hey, it's Linux, so it's good. Yeah. All right, let's see what kind of games you get with this. You get Auro Solitaire, Chess, five or more, four in a row, Free Cell Solitaire, Iagno, Klotsky, Mahjong, Mines, Robots, Sudoku, Tally, and Tetravex. Now, I wonder if Tetravex is a uh, Tetris clone because um, I know that... Uh, that um, Tetris is a Russian game. Let's just see real quick. Okay, no, I've never seen Tetravex. I'm surprised Tetris isn't included with this. Okay. All right, it is what it is. But still a nice selection of games nonetheless. Okay, and let's see what you get for graphics. You get a document viewer. viewer. The GIMP G-Thumb and X-Sane image scanning program. I'm gonna have to try that one. Simple scan doesn't work with my printer. I wonder why. Okay, and then in multimedia, you get Audacious, Brazero, Easy Tag, Gnome M Player. I use that myself. I like it. And you get a mixer. In network, you get Chestnut Dialer. Great if you're on dial up. Uh, I can't even uh, say what this one is. I is called the GDK. Don't know what that is. Don't know what it does, but. Um, uh, if you know what it is, put it in the comment below. All right, you get Mozilla Firefox, Mozilla Thunderbird, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Romina Remote Desktop Client, and Transmission. I like Deluge better, personally. You get Libra Office with this, Orange Calendar, Star Dict, GTK version, and Yagaf. Whatever that is. How's that pronounced? Yagaf? Yagaf. I wonder if that's a Russian word. Okay. In system, you get uh, the Simply Linux 6 start page. Install the hard, tick, hard disk apt indicator. Bulk rename. Now that is cool that they included that. Compass Fusion icon. Disk utility. G parted. New login. Synaptic package manager. System monitor. Task manager. Terminal. Thunar File Manager and Xkill. In Tools, you get Application Finder, Archive Manager, Calculator, Clipman, Medit, Notes, Orange Global Time, Screenshot, and Search for Files. Well, I've got to say, you know, this wasn't a very large download at all. Um, it actually fits on a CD. And it looks quite comprehensive to me. It's got just about every software you could possibly want with this, or at least if you, you know, for, for a typical home computer user, this would be a perfect operating system to use. Uh, it looks like, uh, you know, it's got all the things that I would be looking for. So I've just been so busy with a, a number of other things that I haven't had a chance to, you know, um, really install any other Linux distributions to play with in my free time because I'm using all of my free time to shoot videos just for you guys. <laughs> so, but you know what? I actually like how this looks and this would be an operating system I think I would like to use actually on this computer that I'm using now once I get a new one. Um, I really like how this looks and uh, I've, been want I've been considering having a nice uh, XFCE desktop 
So I'm definitely going to hold on to and save this one. Maybe even keep an eye out on it and see uh, if they're going to be releasing another uh, version of this maybe later this year or early next year. So all in all, I think this is a pleasing looking operating system, even just from running it from uh, a uh, live CD image. I, I like this a lot. So I'll definitely give that two thumbs up. And uh, Nadezda, I hope uh, you consider giving this a try. Um, maybe you might enjoy this. Okay, if you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Visit my blog and shout me a coffee. If you have any questions or comments, put them down there. Or send me a private message and I'll try my best to answer, to answer you as quickly as possible. I still have a lot more reviews headed your way. Um, a lot more goodies coming up, so stick around. You never know what's coming up next.